today we are talking with Next Machina. Uh, uh, Next Machina is a IoT solutions provider out of Spain. Um, really excited about them becoming a new par uh, partner for us. Uh, so we want to get into it and, and kind of talk about more of them. Uh, please drop your questions in the chat. Uh, uh, happy to answer them at the end. So let's go right away. Let's just talk about Helium. Um, about Helium. Uh, Helium was founded in 2013 with the mission to make it easier to build decentralized wireless networks. Uh, honored to be backed by some of the best VCs uh, in the world, uh, including Kosh Ventures, First Mark, uh, Multicoin Capital. Um, what Helium is, so Helium is a uh, you know, decentralized wireless public lower WAN network. Uh, uh, it is for everyone. We're a private company, but we've made a public network that anyone can use when they have uh, uh, network coverage around. Uh, it's incentive built for uh, people, entities, companies to deploy uh, these hotspots, our hotspots, and uh, uh, continue to earn HNT for doing so. Uh, host earn HNT, Heli or excuse me, host earn Helium, a new cryptocurrency for both uh, creating network coverage when the devices use their hotspots uh, when they connect to the internet. Uh, it's an affordable nationwide wireless network that, to be, that can be rapidly built. Uh, as you guys know, we we've, we've, we've usually compete with cellular and we're about 20 times less uh, for uh, a Helium network uh, uh, connectivity than a cellular plan. Uh, this is our ecosystem of hardware providers. Uh, first and foremost, we have the uh, Helium OG hotspot. Uh, we also have uh, Rack Wireless distributed through uh, CalChip. Uh, and then now into our ecosystem, we have Nebra Pi Supply, both the indoor and the outdoor network. Uh, oh, excuse me, both the indoor and outdoor hotspots. Uh, we have the Easy Lincoln Bobcat, and we have the SynchroBit hotspot as well. Uh, Helium is powered by LongFi. Uh, network architecture combines lower WAN wireless protocol with the Helium blockchain. Uh, any low RAN, a lower WAN device can transfer data on the Helium network. Uh, the features of LongFi, it's lower WAN compatible. Uh, the, there's device roaming, the micropayment transactions in the form of data credits, uh, and it's cryptographic proof of time and location. Why Helium? Uh, Helium focuses on applications, not network building. Uh, largest public IoT network in the United States. Accelerated coverage, over five times number of hotspots uh, deployed of, uh, uh, in, five, in nine months. Low cost, one sensor uh, sending a data packet every five minutes on the network costs about a dollar per year. Uh, compatible with any off-the-shelf lower end sensor, we are uh, uh, brand agnostic. Uh, and the blockchain, proof of time and location for sensor, da uh, sensor data. These are some of the companies that we rely on. Uh, excuse me, these are companies that rely on Helium, uh, Salesforce, Agilus, Nowi Sensors, Careban, Conserve, Nestle, Lime, Invisalign, and Smart Mimic. Excited to have Next Machina join as one of our partners that's going to be able to leverage the Helium network. I'm going to turn it over now to Fernando, uh, the CEO of Next Machina. I'm going to let him introduce uh, himself and his company. Uh, Fernando, take it away. Okay, thanks, Scott. Uh, thanks, Elio, for the opportunity. Uh, hi, all. Uh, good afternoon from Bilbao, uh, city of the north of Spain. Uh, here we have the headquarters of Next Machina. Uh, my colleague Sergio is located in Madrid, and we have our office in Barcelona. Uh, last eight years, we are focusing on IoT, and we are specializing in LoRaWAN networks uh, with our own platform and different solutions for cities and industry. Uh, we contacted with Helium one year ago through the website because we see that it was a special and disruptive project. Uh, thanks to Scott and all the team for the great support during this time. Uh, last. Uh, last month, we have launched a new solution, NextCO2, integrated with Helium Hotspots, and uh, we are collaborating to deploy a large network in Balearic Island with a top wireless operator, uh, Guayon Goes. Oh. Uh, now, Sergio will explain a few more of the company and the projects with Helium. Thanks all for attending this webinar. Thank you, Fernando. Hello, guys. I'm Sergio. I'm in charge of uh... Business development in, in this machine, as Fernando said, uh, we are based in Spain, but we have a global uh, approach because uh, we, have, uh, we can deliver the service uh, all over the world. So uh, we are a global company. 
with the help of, of Helium, it's it's quite easy to to deploy services over the over the network. So I can I can show you some some uh, features of uh, some features of uh, Next Machine itself, and, and which is our proposal for like the next piece. So um, we started, as uh, Fernando said, uh, uh, almost eight years ago. We, we have experience in all kinds of technologies. Uh, we, we work in, in Bluetooth, we work in Wi-Fi, we work in LaraWAN IoT, uh, in LTM, in, uh, but mainly in, in LaraWAN. So we we have a lot of experience in LoRa deployments. We have uh, our own deployments. And we collaborate with with uh, other uh, operators like like the young ones in this case, but uh, we have multiple uh, networks uh, deployed uh, in the world because we have in Spain, we have in Mexico, we have in Argentina, we have in, uh, in Colombia, in France, and okay, in a lot of a lot of uh, locations. Um, more than that, now with uh, with the partnership with uh, with Leon, we are able to. Uh, to grow faster uh, delivering the, the solutions. Our main solution consists in uh, sensors connected to a software uh, or mobile app uh, using the EU network. So it's, uh, it's a complete uh, package for, for the users. Next, please. Let's go. So uh, why uh, why to use Helium uh, and Next Machina together? So it's uh, the main thing in, in LoRa One technology. So you have low energy consumption devices. Uh, it's very very simple, very easy to to deploy, to put in motion. We send, we ship the the device uh, ready to connect. So the the, the final customer uh, just. Uh, just need to, to take out the box, uh, put in a wall and start to work uh, connected to, to the network and receiving data in their own uh, um, part of our software. So it's very, very easy. At the same time, uh, when when we connect a device, a sensor device to Helium network, Helium hotspot, uh, we are, mine, we are uh, giving the chance to mine uh, more uh, than, than simply uh, with proof of coverage or, or testing or whatever. So uh, with, with, when you connect devices, the mining increase uh, very, very, very quick. And of course, we have uh, global coverage thanks to the people's network. Next, please. So, which is our proposal here? Um, when we start the conversation with, with Ilium, we thought uh, we were thinking how we can use the network uh, in, the, in the best way. At the same time, uh, we want to, to be useful for the people. So um, the idea with, with uh, the first idea with all the things that are happening in the world, uh, we, we, we decided to launch uh, a solution based on, on normal sensors to monitor the CO2 um, uh, conditions in the, in the environment. Uh, so we have, Two types of, solu of solutions. We have an indoor solution, with like the, the device you see in the in the picture, and the typical use is uh, to, to install in offices, in homes, in stores, in the buildings, in, in uh, shopping malls, in every indoor space uh, you need to to monitor in order to see if the CO2 levels are too high uh, to to force the ventilation or, or to, to to purify the, the air or, or to, to empty the space. Uh, in the other hand, there are some spaces, uh, some outdoor spaces who need to be monitored also. Please, Scott. So we can provide also the uh, of uh, CO2 sensors that for outdoors. Very, very rapid device to install in cellars, in gardens, in greenhouses, in forests, because uh, one of the highest demands is quite surprisingly, quite surprisingly, but one of the, the highest demands is the, mm, the fire the danger, the danger of fire in, in parks or in forests, because if we get a, a, a quick uh, concentration, a quick increase in the concentration of CO2, with the temperature and low humidity, we can uh, suppose uh, there is a fire in the in the area. So um, 
it's like a, a very early uh, alert uh, to, 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 to advise to the, to the authorities or, or uh, responders. Okay. Um, yeah, next. Uh, so, um, what are we doing? We are we have uh, we have a specific uh, microsite for, for this solution. We call Next Year Two. Uh, you can buy, you can purchase from everywhere in the world. You can purchase the, the solution, and the solution consists in the next next year two device with the sensor, uh, the uh, data credit needed to connect to the LU network, and our cloud and, and app mobile uh, software. So, uh, for this price, 199 euros, and they given in, in, in dollars, you have the sensors, you have the, the connectivity to the network and the software um, during during three, three years, all included. But with this promotion, with this special promo code, we increase this uh, this period to five years, all inclusive. Okay, sensor, connectivity to the network, and uh, and uh, cloud and, and mobile app. Um, so that's the proposal. You can check in the in the, the web page. You, you see there. And uh, purchase directly. Uh, depending on the demand, uh, uh, we can delay maybe one week, uh, ten days. Uh, the, the indoor sensors, outdoor sensors usually take more time, but indoor sensors uh, we are we are able to to ship in one week, uh, except we have uh, stock broken or something like that. Okay. I, uh, I just I just wanted to jump in there and say, um, um, you know, Next Machina does a, a ton of different IoT solutions providing, uh, you know, working with all different companies, big and small, but with the Next CO2 indoor and outdoor, uh, because of the, um, what is it, carbon dioxide uh, uh, monitoring laws or, or, or kind of the EU laws that are coming into effect and some of the Spanish laws through the Balearic Islands, uh, uh, this type of monitoring is a, a huge uh, uh, kind of uh, new space that that, uh, you know, you know to, to basically be law abiding uh, in these different places they need to have for the for for companies in those areas. So this is a really cool opportunity and and uh, um, I'm excited about, uh, you know, the next uh, next Machina bring in their indoor and outdoor uh, um, um, air monitoring sensors, air quality sensors to market. It's, it's an opportunity indeed in uh, I am honestly I don't know in the results of uh, the world, but in Spain, they are starting to appear some laws, as you say, uh, and force to the public spaces, the indoor public spaces, to be monitored uh, by law. Uh, in fact, uh, in, in Bayerica Island, in, in Mallorca, they are forcing to, to uh, have the CO2 levels uh, under 800 ppm. Uh, it's, it's quite low for a public space, so uh, it's very, very uh, mandatory to, to have some, some uh, devices of, of this. Uh, for example, uh, talking about Balearic Island, so we are, uh, we have very strong uh, partnership with Wayongo, at least to call Wayongo. Wayongo is a, it's a, um, it's a major operator, not a one operator in, 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 uh, in island. So, sorry, I, I go one, one, one step uh, forward. Sorry. Wait, wait, let's go. So, <laughs> This is this is the architecture, the general architecture that I, I explained you before. Okay, we provide the sensors. You guys or or, or whoever has the helium hotspot hotspot uh, deployed, uh, we use the all the helium the helium architecture, the network server console, etc. And uh, finally, the data go to the to the software. So you know, when you receive the sensors, you receive an access to the app uh, to the software to uh, start uh, monitor your your sensor in the, in the second in the first second you open the box. Okay, now you can go. Like, I was looking for the map. I jumped the gun there. I need search you. My <laughs> there we go. So, so um, this is very special. It's kind of a special uh, project because um, we met uh, we met uh, Ilium for one year ago. We we make some. Uh, conversations with them, and we uh, introduce uh, Wayongo, is a, a colleague from us, is a good partner, and uh, the, the the result of, of uh, this collaborative work is a big deployment in, in Mallorca Island, in, in Palma de Mallorca, 
uh, where YM is deploying more than 100 uh, hotspots. So it's in the in in the practical, it's uh, it's uh, the only all the west part of the of the island is the, is totally covered by LoRa one. So uh, and we are now we are using this network to propose solutions like CO2 in in different locals, but also all kinds of solutions like um okay uh preventive point monitoring for engines in uh, buildings in office buildings or uh temperature of uh, of uh, fridge cameras in in bars or whatever the customers need but the good thing is they have the network so it's quite easy to deploy solutions very competitive very uh useful for for the end customer for for the people uh, and more than ever, is, is uh, we convert this in the people's network. Yeah, yeah. pretty I, amazing. Absolutely. I, uh, uh, likewise, I wanted to give a, a, an absolute. Um, uh, big thanks and shout out to uh, Mauricio and his team at Wiango. They're doing some great work. They already have the uh, public infrastructure already in place with Wi-Fi uh, around uh, a, a bunch of different major cities in Spain. Uh, this is the first deployment, but they've been able to cover uh, just because of where the city centers are in, uh, in, in Mallorca. They've been able to cover a lot of the area uh, with great helium coverage. So I appreciate Mauricio and his team's hard work. Absolutely. That's it. All right. So next slide. There we go. So uh, here, uh, here we are. <laughs> uh, so um, thank you everyone for for the attending. So I mean, we are open to discussion or questions or whatever you need to know. Uh, is it? Sure. Um, if if there's any any questions, please um, uh, please make sure uh, um, you guys send them into uh, into the chat. I'm happy to get through all of them. Um, let's take a look at the first one. Um, I noticed that when I was doing my research that there was no presence in Africa. Do you guys plan to expand, uh, or is Africa not part of the plan? Specifically, miners show the configuration possibilities for Europe, Europe, and the United States. Um, it's not a. Uh, it's so not necessarily applicable to Next Machina unless they're interested in getting into the the African market. But uh, we plan uh, the Helium network itself plans to be uh, everywhere in the world. Uh, we want to be on all seven continents uh, and and everywhere we can that people are looking to leverage a lower end network uh, for their solutions. So. Um, Few questions. Uh, uh, so, in terms of other IoT use cases, uh, 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 what other IoT use cases is Next uh, Next Machina focused on, or what are you seeing demand for? So, um, we are very very focused in in a smart building, so we can we can integrate uh, any kind of sensor uh, useful for for buildings. We are focused in smart city. We are. Doing um, smart lettering for water meters. We are doing uh, smart lighting with connecting with uh, with uh, light poles. Uh, we are doing tracking of vehicles using the one network. Uh, we have uh, personal locators using the uh, one network also. So we have we have a complete bunch of of, uh, of applications and solutions for every kind of uh, of uh, vertical uh, really because. Uh, for the good, the good, uh, the good thing here in in Lora One is there are a complete ecosystem of sensors of devices, so we can we can monitor almost everything. We can monitor how how an engine is vibrate, is vibrating. We can monitor is is if a window is open. We can close a window with with a signal. So it's it's uh, it's quite easy to implement solutions in 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 everyone. Yeah, excellent. I just wanted to, to add, I've been on uh, Next Machina's website and they talk about a lot of different, you know, large scale commercial and industrial, um, um, uh, you know, build outs that they've done for, you know, very well known companies around the world. So there's, there, there's no project too, too big that they can't tackle. Uh, another question, in terms of kind of devices that you're looking to deploy on Helium uh, in the next six months or a year, is there a, a type of figure that, what, that we're looking at in terms of the total amount of uh, devices that will be deployed? How, I don't understand the question. Uh, sorry, it's got, again? 
Sure. So, um, uh, you know, so network coverage is coming in first in Mallorca, uh, and then there's yeah. going to be other network uh, uh, coverage rollouts, uh, you know, in, in Barcelona and, and other cities in, in Spain. What's kind of like in the next six months to a year, how many devices do you think Next Machina will be able to deploy on the Helium network? Uh, the sky is the limit. So <laughs> we have we have the uh, okay. We have very strong uh, contracts with uh, with manufacturers. So we we are we are we are uh, reselling and integrating the devices since eight years ago. So we, we have very very strong relationships with with uh, with the principal suppliers. So with the main suppliers. So for example, the the, the next CO2 indoor we we usually have uh, 400 units in stock in in the, in the supplier. So it's, it's quite easy to deploy very fast. So it's, uh, we just need others. <laughs> so that's it. Sure. Excellent. Excellent. And then we kind of uh, touched on it just a second ago, but uh, what other cities uh, uh, is Next Machina uh, focused on to deliver, uh, you know, with Weongo more coverage and then those IoT solutions that are coming uh, alongside that ne the network deployment? Well, anyway, it's very focused in, in Mallorca, of course, because it's the, it's the, the, the island and city, but uh, also they have very strong presence in all the east uh, coast of, of Spain, so Barcelona, Valencia, Castellón, uh, Almería, Alicante, all the all the uh, summer cities. Uh, if you if you make me to to say like that, but um, with this movement, so now this, these are the cities where Guayango has Wi-Fi hotspots. So they are using their or their uh, existing uh, infrastructure to implement. Uh, uh, in your hotspot, hotspot, but again, the sky is the limit. So we only need uh, a building, a tower, uh, uh, whatever, and, and we can put a, a hotspot. It's very easy. Excellent. Yeah, I'm excited the, about the, 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 the plans. The plans. The plans are uh, expand as much as we can. So um, one one thing, one good thing, maybe um, it's uh, it's a uh, breaking news. <laughs> Uh, we are already working with uh, with the Helium technical team to develop a um, minor driver, minor software in in uh, in uh, industrial LoRaWAN network, Carlin um, in this case, um, to offer as uh, also a part of the of the sensor, offer a minor uh, thing to uh, to the Helium network. The good thing here is. Uh, we are the number one distributor of, of uh, Kerling in in, uh, in Spain, so uh, we can we can deliver this uh, gateway gateway this Nora one gateways with the miner uh, inside uh, in five seven days. So um, I think it's uh, I think it's uh, very good news for for a lot of people. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, that's great. That's that's great to hear. Exactly right. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Um, I just want to get this uh, question out of the way. So uh, uh, somebody asked, uh, can you use the next CO2 to mine helium? So the next CO2 is going to be an indoor and air uh, outdoor air quality monitoring center, right? The next CO2 indoor and the, next, the next CO2 outdoor. They're, they're using the network coverage from the helium gateways to the, be deployed and have that as their network connectivity. So you're not going to be able to mine from a next CO2 uh, uh, sensor, uh, uh, but again, because of how little uh, you know each sensor you know needs for connectivity, you're not talking about uh, you know having much, if any, of your HNT. If you're you know if you're if you're set up uh, somewhere else and 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 you you want to take advantage of the of the rebate that's being offered through the through the uh, through this webinar now. Uh, you, you know, first of all, you're going to get uh, three years of connectivity for free, so you don't actually have to worry about, uh, um, uh, you know, having any of your HNT if you're if you're you know deploying uh, uh, hotspots right now to have to go to this. Uh, but this is just the sensor where this lower end network is offering, or Helium itself is offering a great opportunity to you know deploy IoT devices. All right, uh, this is a great question. Uh, can the next CO2 sensors integrate with a commercial with commercial office buildings? Sure. <laughs> so, 
Simple, simple and easy. He's a, uh, yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, there was a question here. So uh, we kind of just touched on it a second ago, but uh, hi, Sergio, does your company provide any hotspots like uh, the Nebra? So, um, and you tell me if I'm wrong. So uh, uh, Curlink is uh, one of the new uh, manufacturers that's coming into our into the, the helium ecosystem as a manufacturer, uh, as a hotspot manufacturer through HIP-19. Um, uh, there may be, and correct me if I'm wrong, Sergio, you guys will have uh, Curlink hotspots that you'll be able to deploy at your uh, you know, at different, uh, um, you know, use cases and, and you know, uh, opportunities around uh, Europe. But you, I don't, are you, I, I, we, do, are you going to be selling hotspots at some point or are we going to leave that up to Curly? It, you, uh, we, our, our approach here is, uh, is uh, to use Curling as our, our, gotcha. our yeah. supplier right? Our, right. Of, of, yeah. uh, of Gateway. So in this case, our idea is to add a new a new supplier in the ecosystem uh, to 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 have more options in the in the in your uh, network. Yeah. Another question here. Um, uh, contact info. We'll absolutely absolutely get you some contact info. Let me get to the Q and A page. I jumped the gun on that, but we'll definitely get uh, 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 next Machina's contact info out to you. Absolutely. Um, Somebody asks, are customers concerned about the network reliability in case it's a public network, it's hard to commit on SLA, SLA being service licensing agreements? Uh, not by, by our uh, perspective. So, uh, you know, this, this type of solutions are, so Ilium has a strong, very strong network. It's, uh, it's very well uh, built. It's, uh, the network is, is really it's really good. It's really it's really good. Uh, and uh, maybe six years ago we can we can concern about uh, reliability, but now I think it's out of the question. So I think uh, this type of networks are very, very stable. Lora One is a very very stable protocol. It's very known protocol. It's it's quite old, uh, talking five years, six years. So it's, uh, I think it's, you can, you cannot be, you, you have to not, you don't have to be scared about the, the reality because uh, it's, it's very, it's very proof. I like this question because uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> people, well, the, the too many people, uh, uh, you know, actually it was actually the one that's coming up right now. I didn't mean, to, I didn't mean that question. That question, of course, we want to make people understand that uh, there is service licensing agreements on our end. Uh, yeah. uh, that we have. It's the people's uptime guarantee. We can talk about that, please. Uh, um, um, I don't know if you saw my email on the last uh, uh, the last uh, uh, slide, but scott at helium.com. I'm happy to answer any of those questions uh, regarding SLAs. Uh, this is the question I like because this is, this is uh, I don't know if people know uh, uh, that some of these islands are in the Bal uh, Balearic Islands, but uh, the other islands considered in the in the Balearic, so they're going to be Ibiza, right? Absolutely, yes, everyone. Uh, I, I'm I'm sure the question is right there, right there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. there are there are two two very important islands in in uh, Balearic, uh, a part of of Mallorca, it's Ibiza and it's uh, Formentera, both of them. Um, so I think I I have to talk with Mauricio, but. I'm sure we only will deploy in in this island because um, not now, of course, because of the situation of the COVID situation. But usually has a lot of people, a lot of services during summer, a lot of things to do uh, uh, with the network to to provide solutions to, to the island. So I'm sure I'm sure we will have. In fact, uh, we can we can do or Wyongo can do by demand. If there is a specific need in any building beach uh, club <laughs> or whatever why you can deploy a network by by demand so it's not an issue uh, so we can do it absolutely yep and then again uh there'll be some contact info uh both for myself and uh, uh both for next machina happy to follow up with you if, if you are in spain and you're looking to uh to have network coverage and have some of these uh, uh devices deployed and also if you're anywhere else in the world 
Um, next question. Uh, it's actually a really good question. With the, the next CO2, both the indoor and the outdoor, uh, after the three-year data plan that uh, uh, is being offered today, uh, what, what, um, uh, what happens after those three years? So probably we, we offer, we, we, honestly, we didn't think about uh, yet, but uh, probably we offer a, a very small fee uh, to continue the service or something like that. So it's, uh, it's not a problem. Maybe maybe for, I don't know, 10, 10 euros per year or, or five euros per year or, or something like that, we can, we can uh, continue the service uh, as much as we want. So it's not a, it will not be a problem. I have, I, I, Scott, I'm seeing a question very interesting too. So Benjamin said, two questions to next Martina. One, is your app for the next CO2 fully standalone and download, uh, downloadable for any Apple store for mobile devices? Uh, the answer is yes. It's not a web browser. Uh, it's a full, it's a fully uh, mobile app. So you can find in, um, in uh, Apple store and, and, and and Google Play uh, store, so you can download. You definitely the user and password we will provide you. Okay. Uh, can the device emit a sound like when the CO levels are too high? Uh, no, no, because of the uh, the duration of the battery. So there's all the all the sensor devices based in Nora one. They have only one pre the principal, the main premise is the the battery uh, longevity, longevity. So uh, to prevent uh, a drain of uh, of the battery, we need to minimize the light, the LEDs, the sound, the buffers, anything. All you can you can see is in the app. But the good thing is in the app you can monitor the levels, but you can set up alerts. Uh, uh, with uh, with uh, some thresholds, so you can you can set up a threshold, and uh, and you will, you will receive uh, a push up a push notification is the is the threshold is, is passed. Okay. Awesome. Um, for areas with lower adoption of helium hotspots, how do you see the adoption of Next Machina IoT devices? I'm currently located in Canada, but in a province with low adoption of helium. Uh, so um, the adoption until now, the, our experience in the, in, the, in these weeks uh, after we launched the, the solution, uh, we received orders from everywhere. So we have orders from Greece, from uh, from UK, from from Australia. <laughs> Pretty amazing. <laughs> so, uh, so very different areas to 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 use and. Uh, most of them are for people who already purchased uh, hotspots to deploy and uh, they wanted to have a solution to use the network. So um, the adoption, I think it's, it, will be, uh, it will be incredible at the end of the year because now we are in 20, almost 24,000 hotspots, if I don't remember wrong. Um, and it's growing day by day uh, with, uh, with big numbers. So I think uh, probably at the end of the year, uh, we, are, we are very close to 150,000 <laughs> hotspots or something like that. It's the plan, right, Scott? Yep, exactly right, exactly right, yep. Um, just reading through some questions here, maybe I didn't get to. Um, a couple, let's see, a new one, what do we got here? Um, Oh, uh, we'll just kind of go over this again, but this is perfect. What environmental conditions uh, were tested for outdoor CO2 sensors? Uh, and then also what's the lowest temperature it can operate in? Uh, I, do, I don't remember exactly, but I think they can operate at minus 30, from minus 30 to plus 70 degrees, uh, Celsius degrees. Um, and uh, the, the, the environment, uh, we, we have, in everywhere, practically, uh, we have in cellars, we have in wine cellars, we have in, in gardens, we have in public parks, we have in in uh, greenhouses. Uh, we have in some a good place for this sensor is is a factory uh, to monitor the, the CO2 inside the factory is very very strong device, very compact uh, and very easy to to install in everywhere. We, we you can use bin rail, you can put in the wall, you can put in a pole, you can 
you can put it everywhere. And the device itself is very, very strong, very, very well, very well constructed. So it's a, it's a good solution for, for harsh temperatures like factories or chemical plants or, I don't know, uh, yeah. you, can, you can deploy everywhere. And, and just to piggyback off that, uh, if, if you're in the United States uh, listening to this, that's all in Celsius. So just make the conversion from minus 30 uh, uh, Celsius yeah, to uh, 70, 70 Celsius, just we're like the only country in the world that has Fahrenheit, but that's okay. So just make sure uh, anyone, in, anyone in the US, that's, those are all in Celsius. Okay, the, the, thing, the thing here, the, the topic is it's, it's prepared for extreme temperatures. So you can use in Canada, for example, in the north of Canada, if the device Exactly. Exactly. Let me take a look at a couple more questions here. We've got that one in. Uh, um, this is actually a good question. What we should, we can take a look at, and, and one of the reasons why um, uh, uh, you know Next Machina um, you know you know wanted to uh, you know were, were, was interested in, in, a, in a partnership opportunity with Helium. Um, you know we could talk about the, what's the uh, your opinion of the security of the hotspot. Uh, it's uh, first uh, Norwan itself is enough secure, so you you have you have a lot of security between the device and the and the gateway. Uh, with a a AES uh, one two eight uh, uh, encryption, um, and you have you have you have three uh, three variables to 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 compare to to check the device belongs to the network. So you have a serial number a, 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 I, you have a, an a app a serial number and app K for we start with two digits. So no one itself. It's it's uh, enough secure uh, for for the communications, but uh, Ilium adds blockchain, uh, so uh, it's uh, it's like a triple security. So it's, uh, everything is encrypted, everything is secure between the sensor and the network and the final app. So because the communication between Ilium network and Next Machine app all uh, always also is encrypted. So. Uh, everything is secure. Uh, it's uh, nothing, nothing, nothing more to say. It's uh, the technology provides the, the, the security. So, uh, same as I, if I'm wrong, Scott, but I think it's like this. No, you're you're absolutely right. You you kind of hit the main points on on how secure the Helium network is itself. The gateway uh, is just projecting out that signal, so there's no kind of you know uh, you know in mechanism to the gateway itself. It's just that one point that's projecting out a signal itself. So it's incredibly hard, if not impossible, to actually hack into the gateway itself because there's no in port. So uh, um, uh, they're incredibly they're incredibly safe. It's an, 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 and and uh, um, one of the things the feet one of the features of the network itself uh, is your data from the minute it leaves that sense or whether it be a next CO2 uh, uh, indoor or outdoor, uh, you know, uh, monitoring sensor or, or something else running on the network all the way through the Helium console to uh, um, the, the, the IoT platform of your choice or to uh, Next Machina's uh, software, it is uh, encrypted from end to end. So uh, the network itself is not you know, Helium or not interested in taking a look at your data. It is all private. Uh, and that's uh, absolutely one of the features that we wanted to, uh, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we made sure it was in uh, the Helium, uh, uh, you know, uh, network itself. Let's take a look. I think we got a couple more. Um, somebody's asking for the next Machina contact info. Uh, we will be happy to get you uh, uh, um, all this contact info for both uh, myself and uh, uh, Fernando and Sergio after the call. We're going to do a follow up. Absolutely. Um, we talked about that. Moat Health Market. Interesting. Um, this is a this is an interesting uh, uh, question. It's maybe not hundred percent on the on topic of of uh, of a kind of who Next Machine is and the services they provide. But um, in terms of your opinion on remote health monitoring, um, uh, the market of remote health monitoring, have you guys looked into? You know, there's. I know you've done a ton with you know smart buildings and uh, and and you know um, uh, uh, you know 
smart you know infrastructure with malls and and other commercial spaces is there have you done any kind of remote health monitoring markets or anything anything reg uh, regarding to that yeah we have uh, we have some projects with um locators uh, with uh, locators with uh, gps and now one uh, to prevent the alzheimer uh, sick people uh, can uh, escape so we locate we 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 set up uh, virtual barriers and we have we have uh, alerts if this if this person go out of these uh, virtual barriers um more than that we can use any kind of device with Nora one can monitor conditions so the day the day we we there is a supplier who who manufactures a um a herd monitoring we can we can integrate so we can control for example one of the one of the um, one of the uh, requests of uh, of all people houses uh, is about the uh, the temperature of the of the water, for example, to prevent uh, I don't know how it's in English Legionella. You understand? Legionella. You, it's uh, the 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 thickness. Do you understand what I what I say? The um, okay. Yeah. You, you can prevent some some virus uh, monitoring the temperature yeah. and the the temperature of the water uh, gotcha. and the heaters. So uh, you can you can monitor if if the heaters and the water are are okay. And the heater is working properly, uh, and you can monitor. Uh, but uh, you can you can have a locator for 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 sick or old people with a panic button. So the people pr press the panic, the, the alert go to the network, and the and the software display something or send an alert or, or activate another device uh, inside the house to, to make something. So you can do whatever. There's a, a, a one a, just a question that just popped in the in the chat. Is Next Machina uh, doing any agricultural sector uh, type of monitoring? Is that in the portfolio right now? Yeah, we have. Uh, we <laughs> it's inside of a smart town proposal. Uh, so we we did we already did and we are doing um, soil moisture monitoring. We are uh, mm, controlling the, the irrigation systems to, to depending of the depending of the soil moisture um, uh, measurement. We can activate the irrigation or not. Uh, we can track and monitor the health of um, of, uh, of the cattle uh, and to monitor if they are in the place they supposed they supposed to be. Um, I don't know. We can we can check about the we can monitor the, the, the health of, of the trees. Uh, we have different different kind of sensors, so different kind of solutions uh, all integrated in the, in the same. Yeah. When I was you know when I first uh, was introduced to Next Machina, um, I was incredibly impressed how just you know how long first of all how long they've been in the space. They've worked with all different types of IoT uh, networks. And you know, for for them, they're incredibly excited, and, and obviously, we're incredibly excited for the, that they want to uh, continue yeah. to deploy solutions on helium. So uh, um, there's you know, uh, you know, these guys have been around for for a long time, and and some of the, I mean, I, I I encourage everyone to go to the website and kind of take a look at some of the huge projects that they've actually put uh, uh, put in place, and 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 have been the uh, IoT uh, solutions provider, systems integrator for even you know large scale companies around the world Let's see. don't think i think we're out of questions right now last chance for any questions for next machina if not we are fully available in the mail so feel free of uh to do, to do some question uh whatever you want so yeah okay sure. to discuss it. and you know what i'll um, Sorry, go on. Do on. No, no, no. If, if, if we have, uh, uh, as, as an old, uh, if, if you have, any one of you have a project, uh, uh, some company who needs solution, uh, anything, you, 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 you think you have, you have a project behind and you don't know how to, how to move on, uh, please contact us. So we are, we have, as Scott said, we, we are very, very, 
happy to help. We have very a lot of experience. We we are for a long time in the market uh, doing exactly this. So um, it's our it's our goal. It's our core business. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, I just want. I just wanted to make sure I flash this on screen one more time. Uh, 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 NextCO2.com. Uh, what we're offering today, or what Next Machina is offering today, is a uh, uh, a nice little promo for um, you know uh, all the attendees of our webinars. Uh, this includes three years of connectivity and software, so you'll have everything at your fingertips to make sure you have all the visualization tools, whether it's uh, uh, on your phone or on your. Uh, on your, your laptop or desktop. And this, the promo code is next helium webinar. And you get, yeah, a really good opportunity here for, um, uh, for people to start to use the network uh, with, with being able ready to be, to, to use the network with out of the box, uh, ready to deploy solutions, right? So what's the one of the many things is that ease of use uh, where you can have this deployed in your house. Uh, you can have this deployed outdoors if you're using the outdoor model and you're able to uh, 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 just take it, download the app and you're, you're, you're off. So it's really cool. That's it. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, there's a one more in the chat. Uh, pet IoT devices. Absolutely. There's a ton of pet IoT devices that are out there. Uh, please reach out to me, and I'll, I'll make sure um, I'll make sure that we uh, 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 show you some options on on some pet device tracking and some through uh, Next Machina. Um, if there's no other questions, uh, you know, thank you so much, Fernando. Thank you so much for Sergio. Uh, we're looking forward to this opportunity to, uh, uh, you know, be partners, Helium and Next Machina. And we're excited for all the things that are, that are going to come from, uh, you know, first in Spain, uh, uh, for all the deployments that are happening there. And then also in all of Europe and, and like you said, all over central, uh, excuse me, South America and, and, and into the United States and North America as well. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, everyone. And uh, we are here for you, so. Thank you, guys.